Hi, today I will be talking about this, the uh, All Powers 200 Watt Foldable Solar Panel. I will uh, show you what you get when you buy it, I will do a quick review just to test it out and I will also tell you something that I wish the All Powers would have done differently. So let's get into it. Uh, the solar panel feels really sturdy and robust, it's not that heavy so you can actually carry it with you. I guess you could actually carry with you hiking if you're not going too far. Uh, it got four of these legs. It sticks with Velcro and it's really easy to set it up. I will show you more about that later. And you got these claps which keeps in place and you got a really good handle to carry it. And on the back you got this pouch. And uh, let's open it up to see what's in it. So the first thing I notice about this is the zipper. Uh, I really like that it's covered so you won't get uh, that much water in it or hopefully you won't get any water in it. And it really helps with the IP classification if you're going to use it outdoor and it will be standing outside when it's raining. So let's open it up. It's really easy to open it up and inside you find a lot of cables that comes with this solar panel. Uh, the main cables are these, these are MC4 connectors and I really love it, it's the industry standard for solar panels, so it's really good, but you also have a bunch of different connectors. Uh, we can begin with this one, this is MC4 connect here and you can convert it to Anderson connection, really handy for different use, especially with some uh, power station and it's the same thing with this, MC4 to DC. And you also get five different uh, DC adapters, so you can connect it to basically any power station out there. And finally we got this MC4 to just ordinary clamps, so you can connect it to anything, any cable you want to. And that can come handy for some of you, I haven't used these, but I've used the other ones and they work great. You also get this instruction manual, which I guess is good, but I haven't read it. I guess it's the best reading ever, so try it out. And uh, packing it together and closing it up is just as simple as opening it up and like that, we're done. One of the things I really like about this solar panel is how easy it is to set up. All you have to do is open it up, take the first leg. Second leg, fold out the rest, and then, then just adjust the legs, and you're done. It's in a matter of seconds. And the same way when you're taking it down again, or packing it up, all you have to do is do it like this, and it's even quicker. And just like that, you're good to go. That's a really simple way of putting up a solar panel. Alright, so here's my setup and remember it's middle of October. And now, let's see if you can see this, probably can. We're getting around 140 with 2 watts. Uh, and according to me that's really good for being October in Sweden and it's not the best of days either, it's rather cloudy. Perfect! It's time for my conclusion. Do I like the All Powers uh, 200 watt solar panel? And the fast answer is yes, it's really cheap, uh, this is the price and you can get a 15% discount with my code that you can find in the comments. Uh, it's really easy to set up thanks to the velcro legs and it's just as easy to take it down and fold it back together again. You have the pouch, it's waterproof, at least basically waterproof thanks to the design and it comes with lots of adapters which is awesome because you can get going regardless of what power station you're using. Uh, the one thing that I wish for all powers to do differently is uh, actually a design. Uh, design. Oh, now my power station is kicking in. Uh, it's a design issue. 
Uh, this is the oil power's 140 watt solar panel. And I don't know if you can see this, but all the specification of the panel is printed on the outside of the pouch. And that's really good uh, for, because when I got this I knew the specifications, but when I'm out hiking or traveling I don't. And uh, sometimes most people just connect this to the power station, but I'm connecting it to a battery bank and I connect it to my batteries I made myself and to custom MPPT chargers. And then it's really good for me to know the specification if I'm going to connect these in parallel and series and so on. Most people, you don't have to care about this, but I'm a geek and I want to know the specifications. But other than that, this is a really good power, uh, solar panel. It gives you great value for your money and it produces lots of power. So I would really recommend you buying this. If you have any questions, please feel free to give a comment below. And of course, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And also, if you want to watch more videos from me, don't forget to subscribe. I wish you all a pleasant outdoor experience and I really hope that the sun will be shining on you so you can use your solar panels regardless of what brand or what size you will be buying. So take care, have a lovely day and bye.